dear students so today we will talk about um, no sql using the mongo db right so we will see that how we can use the mongo db uh, while using the no sql and uh, by this way today we will see that how can we analyze uh, twitter data by filtering it and by ranking it so first let's see that how can we install it so i will just quickly show you the links for it so this is the link you need to like just copy paste the link and then uh, download the gui shell so this is your gui if you have a window so you can use this one if you have a other system so like if you have a linux or if you have some other system you can also uh, download it right so this is like you know very user friendly you can use it right okay so after that one if you have done this one uh, you will you will be installed with the uh, mongodb uh, db uh, campus okay that is the gui format okay uh, the second one is uh, uh, shell like a command prompt so how the command prompt works so here is also this link is for the shell that is called uh, mongoosh or mango shell or sh okay so this is also mm, useful to see on the command line for this one you need to download and then and directly use it yeah, so since I have already installed it, so but I will just show you that how it works. Uh, most important thing is that you need to uh, copy the uh, uh, the path to the environment variable. That is most important thing. I will show you that how to do that one. Okay. So after downloading all these things, so um, uh, this will be shown. These are like you know uh, certain commands for you that how you can use the uh, MongoDB. So this is like you know. And the replacement of uh, Hadoop in case if you cannot use Hadoop or if you have uh, difficulties in that one. So this is one of the alternative for this one. And these are the different uh, data queries. You can use these all queries. So practice on this one to use to with the uh, with the JSON format or BSON format. That's called binary coded format. So that is like you know uh, I will send you the link right. Uh, so this is like you know uh, we have the data. And this is the, the Twitter data which we will analyze. So you can copy the link here and you can download it. Uh, this is the one MB file and it has a 10,000 10, um, comments or 10,000 tables or 10,000 documents, you can see it. So um, that can also, I can provide you this link with as well. All right, so this is the total preparation for it. Okay, now see that uh, when you download that, uh, uh, mongoose cell so how the the mongoose will look like so if you uh, you need to uh, for example extract it so when you download the mongoose so it will be like this one okay and you need to go to the bin all right so this is the shell basically the shell we have it right so basically what you need to do you need to copy the property this is the you need to copy this one this is very much important okay and then you need to go to the um, edit edit system environment variables okay and after this well environment variables so since i have already done mongoose over here so uh, you can like you know you can delete it and then you can like you know you need create it so just click, click new just write mongoose here okay and uh, copy control so you can do that so i already have it so i don't need to do it again right okay so this is how the the shell would look like so when you uh, open the shell when you double click on this one so a shell like uh, this will be open to you right okay so uh, this is a shell just like a command prompt cmd prompt some of the people they also used uh, they also use like you know uh, uh, the visual studio to link this command shell to look it more better but for time being we will just use directly okay so this is that how it works right so the gui interface is very interesting and it's like you know uh, looks very good in, in that case what you have to do you need to connect with the local host so in the initially it will be coming to you the local host so you can connect it directly it has many tabs like you know my queries uh, performance databases so mostly we'll be concerned with the databases so you can create a new database for example uh, xyz okay uh, collection name is the tables to tables for example table one okay and then you can like there are different option as well if your uh, if your table is so huge like in uh, gb so you can uh, give a cap or you can give like you know sizes for that one right but for timing we don't need that one because this is used for the 
uh, big data so in big data you need you need to have some more information right so this is your database xyz and this is your table and in this in in big data we call the table as a collection right so this is that how it works so let's uh, import uh, uh, the data for that one uh, for example i have the data the um, uh, the twitter data so the twitter data when i download it so it looks like that one okay let me show you that how it looks like yeah so when i download it so it has uh, it is in the csv format so when it is in the csv format if i open it right so it is like a uh, like this file okay if you see over here so it has uh, all the tweets like ten thousand tweets approximately so the tweets id has uh, tweets username uh, text retweets likes and timestamps when this uh, tweet was done right so it starts from one from julie 81 okay and this is the tweet and and if you go to the last tweet so it is about like you know 10,000. so this is the last uh, tweet so it looks like a big data why because 10,000 is like considered to be high volume right so we close this one okay okay so we don't convert that one okay we close this one you can open in excel as well right so when you uh, when you import it so how does it look so let's import this one so you can say import json or csv so both of the files they can you can download it from the internet or even you can connect direct the, the db mongo to the to the twitter but there you need to install an api for that one since we have the data set so we can uh, directly go to it and and just like you know see this is all the data we have it all in the comma delimited and then we import it right so you see over here 10,000 documents imported so now this is like you know in the xyz table in xyz database in this table you have uh, 10,000 like you know uh, documents or 10,000 uh, tweets you have it right okay uh, if you want to see into the shell like you know how it looks so you can uh, you can also go to the shell for example if i want to go to the database for example you say use xyz database so I, I i went to the xyz database and then i uh, i i told i say uh, so for example to see that how many tables i have and then i say show collection so in the collection they show me the the table right so um, how can i uh, visualize uh, uh, my table so there should be some like you know commands or so i have applied different commands over here so uh, for that one i i need a one command yeah, so um, what you need to do you need to uh, just like you know say you need to apply this command use table one so uh, then you know uh, there is already on the database table one, right so uh, by this when you it will be uh, shown to you right so if you want to see that uh, how to see the contents of this uh, table so now there is a command for example for this I applied for this the previous one so for this one table one okay and and you will be so it means that we can visualize the data into the command prompt with the shell and also in the gui so gui is more easier and you can like you know focus more you can easily like you know create the database with the plus sign you can create as many database for example for uh, instagram uh, instagram if you want to create a database you can say okay and then it will be created to you so uh, for instagram you have a uh, uh, so yeah so this is like for instagram you have and you can import that you can you can insert your own document for example you can create your own documents or like you know or just like in the json format or you can import the data if you like it right so you can and even you can export it as well and you can store as a uh, in a in a json format right so these are like you know different options for you so we were like you know focusing uh, on how to like you know how to uh, treat this the uh, the tweets so we have 10,000 tweets and then we can see that how can we uh, have how can we like you know rank it how can we filter it how can we like you know aggregate it right so the, like for example uh, this is like for example the tweets and I want that uh, I want to rank those likes uh, which are which are like you know uh, uh, like for larger than or equal to five right so so by this way so if i apply this one so uh, so this is like you know <clears throat> uh, like less than or uh, less than or equal to right so less than and equal to five so if you see over here these all likes are zeros like you can see over here 
so these all like you know likes are zero and less than five so you can see i have ranked them according to the uh, frequency right so this is uh, similarly you can uh, uh, you can you can also change it for example greater than uh, greater than and gte right greater than and equal right so these are like abbreviation and dollar sign is must if you don't apply the dollar sign it will not work right so for example if i remove the dollar sign so it will not work right okay so i just find it so now now this all tweets will be greater than five right now you see all my tweaks has been ranked according to my own uh, design so this ranking has been done right similarly you can rank the, the retweets as well for example you change the formula with the retweets right uh, retweets uh, right so if you want to retweets and you say that retweets uh, are greater than let's suppose 38 right um, so uh, let's see find the retweets greater than 38 so you will have all the uh, which is greater than 38 right so out of 10,000 tweets that will be ranked right so this is the ranking uh, you can apply you can choose any of the co column and then you can apply your uh, like any rule frequencies right uh, this is about the aggregation so what is aggregation so aggregation for this one i give a very um, good formula good like you know uh, information and that is related to and what is the difference between um, these uh, three important filter aggregations and uh, yeah if you see over here um, i have a very interesting uh, thing for you and you can see that how these like you know uh, works okay so <clears throat> these are the different like you know uh, formulas and uh, so filter is basically uh, what is a filter filter is basically uh, which we applied now that uh, according to uh, our rules right there are different options as well you can see project project means according to the field which columns you want only so you can also make it on and off you can do sorting as well you can do like collation as well um, yes aggregations is also like you know aggregation is a to, to combine different uh, um, rules over here schema mm, so these are like you know if you this is the schema for your id that how your id is spreaded how your likes are spreaded how your tweets are spread so this is all analysis for your like you know for your tweets index you can you can create your index for example by indexing the speed becomes uh, good for example if if you are like you know if you are not doing more insertion and deletion if you have more insertion and deletion the indexes are not good it will slow up your speed but if you are just doing analysis like you know searching index are very much important so you can delete like you know some of that uh, uh, for example the, the previous one likes uh, underscore one for example this uh, this index you don't want it like binary searching will be easy for us so the time would be less taken so instead of 10 10000 documents only like you know maybe five documents your search become rich so that by this way you increase the speed uh, validation also you can validate your documents and you can see over here our data is okay the, the data has been validated right so you have like see 10000 documents and the two indexes and one index we deleted it if you refresh it so that would be one as well right so this is all about like you know how like uh, how mongodb like analyze your uh, big data using the um, nosql command so this is like you know different nosql commands we have it and you can apply it you can easily create different databases you can see the uh, performance of your data as well right and these are the the different queries you applied so these are the different 52 minutes ago we whatever the queries we applied so you can see these are the queries and these are like you know ready-made uh, tables which are already these three tables are already ready-made uh, this is like you can practice more on the school data so this is for the school i make it for 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 the practice you can also practice on this one so see you in the uh, next video take care bye bye